Pulitzer first hired a cartoonist named Ukolt, who did a very funny, very striking single panel cartoon, big cartoon, that showed life in what the cartoonist referred to as Hogan's Alley. And the tenement would be crowded with lots of things going on and people leaning out their windows and sitting on stoops and hanging off the fire escapes. And invariably, there would be this very odd figure in the cartoon commenting on the whole scene. And it was a little boy who looked like an idiot. There's really no getting around it. And he became known as the Yellow Kid. And readers of Pulitzer's paper would say, hey, have you seen the Yellow Kid today? Did you see what the Yellow Kid said today? And the Yellow Kid became uh, a real point of pride for Pulitzer's world. What he did was understand how the eye moved around the page. Understand that we were selective. Understand that we are capricious and fussy about things, that we, that we want to be pulled in, that we want an ongoing story. He just sort of had this explosion of brilliant originality, which was amazing. It was everything on cable. It was everything on the radio. There was nothing else that was a single conduit through which all sorts of information flowed at the same time. And it was happening every single day in New York City. It was pumping out of a basement, kind of an incredible miracle.